Alchemy is an ancient form of chemistry. In the past, before chemistry, magic and science were one and the same. Chemistry is actually quite new in human history, being created in the 1800s, 300 years ago. So scientists who mock the supernatural and magic should remember who taught them everything they know. Alchemy is believed to be dated back as far as ancient Greece who inherited it from Egypt and ancient Babylon. Alchemy was practiced across cultures from China to the Middle East through to Europe. Just like modern chemistry, it had many pursuits like making medicine, improving armor, also poison was another thing alchemy was used for. The more famous pursuits of alchemy uh, were the creation of gold through transmutation. Transmutation was the art of transforming one thing into another, in this case base metal into gold. Obtaining perfection of the human body and mind, creating the elixir of immortality. The ancient Hellenistic Greeks used it to search for genosis, meaning mystical knowledge. In Europe, the creation of the Philosopher's Stone was variously connected with all of these projects, but mainly connected to creating gold. See my other videos titled The Philosopher's Stone. The difference between alchemy and chemistry is that alchemy uses magic spells and incantations alongside science. As I said before, alchemy was essentially a mixture of science and magic. Alchemists would typically work in a craft shop, blending various chemicals and metals, with some of them making the mistake of tasting their deadly potions which would dramatically shorten their lives. They would study piles of books as well as write books, make potions, some would practice astrology, just like your typical view of a magician would be. They would also meet with kings, heads of state, to try and solve problems. Most cities would have their head alchemist. If you travel to Europe, you can see their workshops, just, just like the one I saw in Wartenberg Castle. During the times of pagan and magic persecution, alchemists were generally unharmed, even though they were clearly magicians. It's because of their critical functions to their kingdoms slash countries. To research new technologies such as metal alloys for improving weapons, they remain unharmed. Essentially, they could not afford to lose them militarily, scientifically, and economically. Alchemists are responsible for genuine technological breakthroughs in metal urgy, basic chemicals, and pesticides. That being said, alchemists lived in fear of the church and were being closely watched. They often were forced to relocate from time to time to avoid persecution by the church. A few famous alchemists include Isaac Newton, Roger Bacon, Count Saint Germain, the alleged immortal count, Nicholas Flamel, the Muslim Jah Jabbar and Na Ayan, the Chinese Wei Biyang, believed to be the first person to have noted down gunpowder, and from India, Kahana Ada. So do people still practice alchemy? Chemistry has replaced alchemy in mainstream science, but certain secret societies, modern day magicians, and herbal remedy practitioners carry on the practice. Alchemy is a subject that spans over thousands of years between cultures. I have only touched upon the subject. If you would like to know more, let me know in the comments below. Also, please rate and subscribe if you want to see more content. Thank you for watching.